Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm still experimenting with interrupts. I uh, thought I'd make it a little bit more interesting. I had this idea. Um, so I've reduced this down to just the hardware interrupt. I'm not using the timer interrupt, although I have a, an idea of uh, how to work that in uh, with what I've done so far. But let's take a look at the sketch. I'll go over. I've changed the notes around, basically. And again, I'm not using the uh, timer interrupt, just the hardware interrupt. So, these are the notes that uh, I'm going to be playing. And I did a little research on the internet to come up with these notes. I don't know if there's any musicians out there that immediately might uh, recognize these. But I'm, I'm going to draw upon my considerable musical talents and press that uh, momentary button and play these notes. So it's it's uh, basically the uh, the same as the last experiment, uh, but without the timer interrupt, just the mechanical interrupt. And I've changed these notes, and I've had to uh, take some of the code out. And but we just uh, have these notes being played to this speaker. And I had to change this section also to reflect the uh, new notes. So those will get played in sequence uh, every time an interrupt occurs. And there's the tone to speaker out and the key that gets played. So let's hook this up and have a listen. So I've already loaded the sketch onto this. Now I'm wondering if I need to disable monetiz monetization for this particular experiment or video. But that's the first note. Let me just connect this for a second. A little research on the internet and I found the notes of interest. These are the notes. But then I had to find the frequencies. So I came across this neat little uh, GIF. And it has the notes and the two scales here and the piano keys, but it has the associated note with each of the frequencies. So that's how I was able to uh, get the frequencies for these notes. So let's hook this up again. And again, this is D, E, C. Uh, I think this is C flat. A. Put that in there. I'm thinking I can put the uh, timer interrupts to use on this, but for now I just have this switch, the mechanical interrupt. And uh, I don't know about you, but it's sounding a little weak to me, so I thought I'd boost this a little bit. I have a 2.8 watt amplifier from Adafruit. This is the amplifier right here. And it has uh, adjustable gain. And I have it connected to two 1 watt 8 ohm speakers. So let's hook this up and give it a little bit more power. So disconnect this resistor. I already have the power on the board here. Let me unplug this first. Plug this in. And let's see, I want to tie the right and the left negative channels here together. So this and this tied together. And 
a positive right and left uh, I don't know if I want to just go directly probably just go directly here you might want to turn your volume down let's hook this up And there you go. Thought I'd just change it up a little bit with a recognizable tune and pump up the volume. So if you found this video interesting, please like, subscribe, and or comment. And thanks for watching. Let's see if I can wake up the neighbors. I should have been a musician.